Billy D here with another exciting podcast for California Jam. Got a special guest here, Dr. Daniel Pompa. Say hi to everybody, Dan. Hey, man. How are you out there? Hey, Billy, I'm going to do this for you, man. You can do that all day long because I if you're not having fun, I don't know what to tell you. That's the mental subluxation. Not, not, people don't have enough fun. I've been practicing. You can tell. Yeah, I can tell. You need to work on that neurology, big boy. All right. So I Hank just told me this the other day, and I mean, you can you can uh, let me know if this is true or not, or validate it if you will. But he said you have like the second big, biggest website, second only to Mercola. Is that true? I, you know, it's up there. Uh, maybe at one time. You know, we have a big following uh, worldwide. So see, I most, never realized that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of my clients actually now. I only practice virtually now, Billy. I don't have a brick and mortar. They're from all over the world. I, you know, New Zealand, uh, Australia, Dubai, uh, Singapore, uh, Switzerland. I mean, they're everywhere. That's the, the yeah, Billy. He's telling me that. I mean, I already knew that kind of that. You, you know, you did the virtual thing. So, and we were talking about possibly, you know, rolling that out for chiropractors that are interested in that too. And I'm really interested and I, I want to get, you know, up to speed so I can help people because, I mean, this this program that you have initiated and that you, uh, you basically promote to people has really helped me dramatically. At least, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now and, it's, and I'm not bullshitting you because I don't bullshit, I'm not a bullshitter is that I'm in the best physical shape I've been in my entire life. And it's just because you just, you're forced to really eat super, super, super clean, super lean to do this cleanse. And I mean, there's no bullshit. I mean, I, I, I haven't had a, any gluten or any crap in over probably, I'd say going on th almost three months now. And it, it shows, I mean, I'm just cut to the bone, dude. Yeah, and man. almost to a point where when I was doing the bone broth in the beginning, I mean, I was almost to a point where I was like emaciated. But that that was just because that bone broth Jane made was so – it was horrid, dude. <laughs> and when I'd get hungry, I didn't even want to eat that. I would rather just starve than eat that stuff. But yeah, I'm back to like almost a regular weight right now. But I, I mean, I want to tell you thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. No, you're welcome. Look, you know – it's an epidemic today, uh, you know, and you know my message, you know, chemical subluxation, I believe, uh, with physical subluxation removal is a health center of the future. And uh, yeah, we're, we're bringing a program, which we're, you know, really kind of launching, uh, you know, out west, uh, west in uh, your office and through, you know, Cal Jam. We're going to tell everyone why cellular detox is necessary today to be congruent right, now with right. a message of, hey, we're going to change your life. You know, we're going to bring health and healing to you and your family. You know, I believe to be congruent there, you have to bring chemical subluxation removal, you know, in an office. And that's what we're, we're doing. We're, Billy, we're launching this because, look, most detox out there, and this is a pet peeve of mine, in, in the alternative world is garbage. It's crap. It's too far downstream. Right, it doesn't right. work. It doesn't get to here. Right, this right. is where the epidemic of toxins is, Billy. Yeah, and you know, for all the chiropractors for, you know, that want to shoot arrows at us, you know, because there's, there's a certain camp that, you know, and I thought I was in that camp originally, but then I found out that I'm a mixer too, and I'm proud to be, I'm proud to do whatever I do, but our, our you know, D.D. Palmer said that, you know, it's Tom, uh, I can't talk this morning, thoughts, trauma, toxins are the subluxation, or contribute to the subluxation, but sub, the word subluxation means less light. It's less vibration and whatever it is, whatever the subluxation is for people. And we go back to a day when BJ practice and DD, they were not in a world where people were eating all the shit food that they're eating. They weren't in a world where they're spraying chemtrails. They weren't in a world where there's, you know, Fukushima spewing in the ocean. We live in a different world. And if people don't get on board, somebody else is going to do this. You know, it's just like I want to be healthy and my people want to be healthy and I want to do everything that I can to contribute to their global overall health. I don't want to just focus on an atlas and I, you know, I get it and I know the power of an atlas adjustment because I just every friggin' day in my office and I talk the chiropractic story and I sell chiropractic to the world. But if you aren't addressing some of the other issues that these people are coming with, I think that you're friggin', you're almost negligent to some degree. Well, I no doubt, man. Look, I was with Patrick Gintempo last night and, and he was hammering the fact that chiropractors are not where they want to be because they're making 
incongruencies, inconsistencies in their message. You know, and we were talking about chemical subluxation, you know, and, and he sees it. You know, we see it. You know, look, the bottom line is this. For years, you know, I have been critical of a lot of the detox programs, the 10-day cleanse, 30-day cleanse, whatever it is, you know, because it's not real. I haven't brought a simple, true cellular detox program to the chiropractic world. I've been teaching, you know, functional medicine, which I hate that word, you know, but I've been teaching. I hate that stuff. word too, dude. Let's not even talk medicine. You, know, you know why I hated the word? Because what do they do? They run tests and they give vitamins and minerals based on a test. That's not our philosophy. Our philosophy is remove the interference. The body does the healing. Right. Chemical subluxation is that, but the problem has been bringing something real that's right. simple enough to put in every chiropractic office to be congruent and to be the only healthcare provider that really brings something that is hitting the true cause of why people do not feel well today. Right. And that is the level of neurotoxins that you said it, that we are under like no other time in the history of man. Yeah. But the problem is, it's not going to be a colon cleanse. It's not going to be the 10-day cleanse. It's not going to be Corella, cilantro, all the little things that most alternative doctors are doing. You have to get to the cell to get well. More specifically, you have to detox the cell to get well. That's where real chemical subluxation is removed. And at Cal Jam, man, I'm bringing that message hard, Billy, whether I get criticism for it or not. Because Dude, we don't, you're not going to get criticism from our crowd. You know, because I, I mean, I, I pick speakers that I know are going to resonate with the direction I'm trying to take, not only chiropractic, but also, and I mean, I'm not trying to take chiropractic anymore. I'm just trying to basically clean up a planet that is in under siege so there's a future for our, our kids and if we're running around and all of us are friggin' half insane on dope then we're not making the right decisions our leaders aren't making the right decisions and you know i feel very very positive about the change that we can make on the planet yeah and if people are subluxated you know upper cervical yeah they need to be adjusted i get it i adjust every day and i've been just in 30 years 100 over 100 patients a day and i'm not saying i have a huge high volume practice but the thing is in my heart i know i'm doing great in my community okay i'm not seeing five six hundred a day i don't want to do that hey, I wanna... Bill, listen i saw 800 plus a day you know a week i'm sorry a week in my practice you know i had 300 plus days you know and let me tell you something i hit a level of incongruency i to do that i was doing a doctor's report i was telling those people you know we're going to change your life we're going to make a difference you know you come into this practice and yet i saw a less and less percentage of people, their lives changing. Right. You know, I started to not be able to stand up and deliver a message that I knew it would take to get to a 2,000 a week practice. Mm -hmm. I was frustrating my, my wife because I was coming home with this incongruency. You know, I knew I had the ability to get there, but the incongruency was killing me. Mm -hmm. I got sick, very sick. And right, I remember that, you saying that. That, that, answer, that answered my question, you know, of what was going on because I was getting adjusted every day. I was eating all organic. I was doing all these things, you know, and I got sick, Billy. You know, heavy metals were in my brain, you know, as it turned out, bioaccumulating for years. Out of that story came what I teach today. You know, I, I know that I know that I know that we are heading for some big trouble. When our kids today hit their 20s and 30s, 40s, Right. We are right. going to see a, uh, just a rise in diseases we've never seen, whether it's autoimmune, cancer, and we're already seeing this. Oh, my God. But, I mean, but what is going to happen when they hit that age? You know, we are going – I'm telling you, if we are not prepared, chiropractors, because if, if not us, who? Right. If we are not prepared because we hold the philosophy, I'm telling you, you're going to, going to be left behind. I have to believe that there is practitioners being raised up to answer the calling of a crying world. I believe that. Right. I believe that in my right. heart. Right. You know, and you said I, it kind of gives me chills thinking about. It. We were sitting in that car, that little bike that we, yeah, we the one that we were, that we were supposed to pedal together, but I did all the pedaling, and you were kind of yeah, just kicking so back, you, you know, acting smart and shit. You weren't pedaling, uh, but then those kids that that whole little that little, all those kids little, little kids walk by, and you go, "That's that's a generation that's basically going to be screwed unless we get on the friggin' bandwagon and teach," because it's just like. I mean, even epigenetically, these kids are getting screwed from what their parents had, and then they're getting, you know, that, and they're, and then all the crap. I mean, it's just amazing to me. It's like, you know, I, I went to a concert the other night, because I like to go to concerts, and, you know, I'm on this friggin' pretty tight diet, you know, that you, Hank and you have put me on, and I, and I was friggin' hungry, dude, and I went up to the window, and I'm looking, 
uh, cheese nachos, uh, you know, just all this hot dogs, stuff that I would never even eat anyways. And I'm thinking, oh, this is what people eat, dude. And, and this is what they try to subsist on. And that's why they subsist at a subluxation level as far as just the chemistry that they put into their bodies. And it's just, that's the norm anymore, man. Billy, think about this for a second. Think about this. We, our parents and us grew up in the lead generation. You know, we're in our 50s, right? We, we, we were exposed to lead on every aspect. It's in, it's in all of us. They're estimating four generations to breed it out. We were in the, the um, mercury generation, first vaccines to contain mercury. Uh, you know, mercury was in just about everything through thimerosal, even more than the vaccinations. And then they were putting silver fillings, which contained 50% mercury. Lead, mercury. Oh, and wait a minute. But mercury's so not means, bad for the body, is it? Oh, no, of course not. Now, if you it believe doesn't cause autism. You believe your government protective body. Yes, you know, of course. Uh, so that's your choice if you want to believe it. But look, put it into perspective. We inherit, we gave that load to our children. We triggered genes before they even left the womb, right? right? Right. And now, what are our kids exposed to? Genetically modified food, a chemical called glyphosate, which puts holes in the gut, right? Alters brain pathways, you know, alters even how we make neurotransmitters for our brain to work in our gut. They're exposed to neurotoxins that we were never exposed to, Billy. Right. It's right. the perfect storm of disaster. Right. You know, and we're vaccinating kids like we never got vaccinated. And then you think about all the antibiotics too. It's just like – and then we just nuke our whole microbiome and it's like we have just total indiscriminance for the, the – the, the, the holism in the body and it's, it, it blows me away that you know people would even take an antibiotic to begin with and then they give it to these small little infants that are trying to like develop in this world and evolve to what they're supposed to be and it's just like we just we've we've, we've lost vision and what health is really about we think it's just about killing crap and you know um, nuking this and Listen, you, you brought up another pet peeve of mine, right? So people go to an alternative practice. Oh, it's a parasite cleanse. It's a candida cleanse. It's this. Look, what is upstream setting the terrain for these things? I had candida. I had parasites. You know, I even was diagnosed with Lyme disease. But all of it was downstream for the fact that I had a bad terrain set up by heavy metals that I got exposed to from my parents all the way through. You know, the bottom line was is people are playing downstream when you need to get upstream to the cause. Look, you know, these genes are getting turned on. You know, I tried, I addressed my adrenals, I addressed my thyroid. Yes, they were burned out, they weren't working, but it wasn't until I went upstream to the cause that my adrenals, my thyroid, I was able to get rid of candida. You know, all that happened after I went upstream to the cause. Man, that's our message. Right. You know, it's a cellular problem. You know, Billy, you live a healthy life. You had so many times, you still do. I still do. Right. You, they're here, right? Right. You no, know, it's like so. You know, bringing something that's real is the answer. I, you know, I had to suffer for it. You know, so many people that are really part of this mission also had to suffer for it. You know, it's it's a real message that addresses where the problem really is. You know, it's a cellular issue. Yeah. Look, if we can give mice, if we can give mice a toxin like BPA or a heavy metal, you name it, and turn on an obesity gene, right? Turn it on. Trigger. You know, what are we doing to our children? The toxins and the amount of neurotoxins they're exposed to, we're triggering every gene of susceptibility. The old dogma was your, you know, your DNA made you sick. If your parents had it, you get right. it. We know that's not right. true. Right. Toxicity at the cellular level is turning on those genes. You know, look, here's where the gap of research and science world in the treatment world is happening. Mm -hmm. We know we turn them on with toxins. We know we can turn them off. And that's where my cellular work has been for years, Billy. You know, when I say that true cellular detox, a lot of it has to do with fixing the cell so it can start the detoxification process from the top down. You know, again, colon cleanses, these things can be helpful, but it's down here. Right. But the key is, is when we get the cell functioning, we can start turning off those genes. It's in the literature. We know this is true, you know, but yet what's going on? Why aren't people preaching this message? Why aren't alternative doctors doing more of this? The key is you fix the cell, you get well, Billy. You know, and, and again, it's it really the battle has been bringing a simple enough program into chiropractors who hold this philosophy. You know, and this year is a big year for us. Cal Jam's a big year because we're bringing a message 
and we're bringing something that's really never been launched in this way to the masses as far as chiropractors go. We focused on the 3% who want to do that functional medicine, if you will, right, right. but now we're launching something that really needs to be, should be, in every chiropractic practice on the planet. Why? Because we hold the philosophy that the world needs, that those children that we saw pedal in that car. Right. You know, that's what they need, Billy. That's what yeah, they the need. Yeah, the thing is, we're never going to get all the chiropractors on board. I mean, you have to. That's kind of uh, that won't happen in this profession, you know. It's hey, just, listen, Bill. Bill Gates said his goal was to put a computer on every desk. I doubt that he has a computer on every desk in America, right? Right. But that was his vision. That was his goal, you know. And because he saw a world change from that, and dang it, so my goal is going to be okay. To that's put- a good goal. I'm just saying. I I just know just through my own <laughs> trying to try. Herd cats, the kind of deal. I know. You know. There's so much dissension within our profession. We have a lot of drama in our profession, which is kind of a it's kind of a it's kind of a drag because we have so much to offer the world and we have our just our own inner fighting that we you know, the old circle Sad. wagon trains and shoot in. Let me ask you this, and this is one of the things that I think that differentiates and creates the uniqueness in what you're doing, is that, you know, a lot of what people have done as far as cleansing has been zeolites, but what you've done, and I don't know if you want to talk about this, is how you get past the BBB, the blood-brain barrier, through the high realization of the zeolites. Is that what's going on? or are you? Well, look, I mean, you know, in many of my articles, I wrote an article, True Cellular Detox, uh, on my website. I wrote an article, When Detox is Dangerous. And your website is, again, what? Just it's for- DR, like doctor, D-R, and then my last name, P O M. PA, drpompa.com. Perfect. So drpompa.com. But, um, you know, I, I've written a lot of articles and been always very critical of, uh, you know, the binding agents, if you will, to stay within legal terminology here uh, that people use and what people call detoxification agents. You have to use what I call true binders. Uh, there are very few of them out there. As a matter of fact, there really hasn't been one introduced since the 1930s until now, until recently. Uh, there is a hydrolyzed clinoptilolate particle that has the ability to not only get past the gut, which zeolite hasn't until this, um, not only get past the gut, but into the cell and into the brain. It's, it's, this is a very unique time in history, really. Uh, a very, very smart gentleman from Greece um, really is the, the brains behind this patent and um, patent pending formula. And, We've been using it now in this system of true cellular detox uh, in for a little over a year, and it's been remarkable. Uh, but, you know, in my articles, I talk about other true binders and why it's very important to use them. Uh, Corella, uh, cilantro, these are not true binders, you know, which typically are found in most detoxification products. And, uh, and it's not my opinion. I mean, look, th- this is just science. When you understand how things grab on, in the... Uh, alternative world oftentimes you hear about DMPS and things doing IVs that can be very dangerous although those are true binders so you know through the years there has been a lot in detoxification but right now we're in a very neat transition because we have an agent that is able to you know enter into the brain and we match it Billy with other fat soluble uh, true binders that are also able to get into the cell in the brain. And th- look, what I call true cellular detox, there's three components that make it up that really make up what we call true cellular detox. There's three phases. We have a preparatory phase. We have a body phase that sets up concentration gradient that we're able to go into the deeper tissue like the brain and other uh, you know body organs. You know, but that's the magic is you have to phase it. You can't just put someone on a cleanse and expect them to be well overnight. Right. You know, those right. phases are there for a reason. Things move across concentration when you understand detoxification. Uh, you know, and again, alternative doctors violate these principles all the time. So these are things that have worked, you know, for years and years I've been teaching these principles. But I think it's gotten a lot easier with this new product, uh, Billy, we're able to bring a, a simpler program into a chiropractic office that actually works. And really, that's why I haven't done it before this, because we just there were some missing gaps that we couldn't do it, bring it to the masses. So here we are. We're at a really unique time. Perfect. And then Perfect. the other thing that people have to understand, even like with chiropractic, is this is something that takes time, number one, because it took a, 
you know, it took me 57 years to accumulate all the metal I got in my brain, and I'm not expecting to be miraculously healed in even six months. I know it's going to take a couple years to get that shit out. Uh, and, you know, my big concern has been just, you know, I don't have the name recall that I used to have when I was younger, especially with patients, and I kind of noticed that was an issue, and that's why I went and had that, you know, the challenge test done. So maybe we can discuss what the challenge test does and show them what we're doing objectively to measure where I was at right now. And then the goal is to show improvement, obviously, down the road by doing that test again and seeing, obviously, uh, decreases in my level of contamination and toxicity. Um, that's a challenge. That's just covering up the name. Um, this yeah, see, I was all in the red, dude. I was yeah, pegging. This, I was this pegging. particular person is actually a child. Uh, elevated lead. Uh, slightly elevated cesium, which we're seeing more and more of. Yeah, mine's um, off the chart. So, yeah, look, I, you know, I want to say this about testing. There, there's no perfect test uh, because ultimately what makes people sick is not what's in and around the extracellular matrix, the body. It's what's in the brain. Right. Uh, you know, that's where true heavy metal, especially mercury toxicity is. And lead, it's deep into the bone. So as you clear the body, it starts to move from a higher concentration to a lower from the brain, you know, out. So, you know, you could be deceived by a test where you, you get a test, clear it within a couple months you know, on a retest and go, oh, I'm fine. But really, you know, it is in the brain. You know, so one of our goals is always to teach the patient the process. Once the patient knows the process, they can do this long enough to truly get their life back because it bioaccumulated since utero right here. Right. You know, and right. You know, that's the, you know, it take, it's not going to come out in a few months, you know, but uh, if we can teach the person the process, then we've got something here that really changes lives. You know, that's how I got my life back, man, no, no doubt about it. But yeah, they're doing okay, the right test. Other than your, I mean, like, your, your experience with the detox, can you maybe give us a couple case histories of people that have had dramatic results with, I mean, you even actually had, didn't you have an adopted child that you worked on that was autistic? Now, I would say I was my first patient. Yes, he was. He was um, Asperger's sensor integration. And um, we ended up with two twins at seven years old. And he was vaccine damaged around four uh, a little later. Well, it started. You saw, we, there were signs before that. And that was my wife's um, <laughs> just curling up in a little ball there. Um, and that was my wife's cousin. They tragically died. Um, and then we were left uh, the twins. And yeah, so I had just literally gotten my life back. And uh, you know, Dylan came to us just a, a neurological disaster, and I applied what I did to myself in you know into Dylan, and he's not just a normal kid; he's an amazing kid uh, to this day. So yeah, I mean, and it, you know, other cases obviously I deal with very very sick people. I deal with the unexplainable illnesses, whether it's the autoimmune. Um, believe it or not, that's something I never thought I would be a part of, but I evolved into is weight loss resistance. You know, one of the reasons why people can't lose weight today, it's more of a toxic issue affecting certain hormones and horm causing hormone resistance than it is even the food. People that come to me go, I eat perfect, and yet I'm gaining weight or can't lose weight. You know, this is a massive growing epidemic. Uh, you know, so cellular detox is the answer, you know, right. to this problem. And really, the hormone resistance epidemic that we're seeing, thyroid conditions, diabetes, and, you know, so... You know, the, the bottom line is, is, you know, I get a lot of these unexplainable illnesses, a lot of neurodegenerative stuff from, you know, Parkinson's to MS, I mean, to the unexplainable brain conditions. Um, you know, Billy, I, I, I build a waiting list practice by, you know, helping these people. Uh, you know, and now I have the fortunate um, opportunity to teach, you know, what I've learned. Uh, you know, you learn a lot when you deal with the, the very sick who've been everywhere. Right. And right. that's really my client list. <laughs> you know, I have very famous clients. I have very sick clients. I have people who, you know, really didn't even have money to afford me. And, you know, I've been blessed to help them all. So. And you feel that you can make this program simple enough that the average chiropractor in his office could really offer this to their patients if they so desired? I have. Okay. We have. Um, okay. We haven't launched it yet, but we have. You know, okay. and, and, and Billy, I'll tell you, you know, it's been a passion of mine to do that for years. And I'll, I'll tell you, I came out, um, you and I spent some time together. And, you know, just walking around your office, seeing your needs, seeing the needs of your patients, 
you know, it really gave me that inspiration to say this is the year to launch it because yeah, totally. it was on my it was on my tablet to do list, right? I mean, there it was. I, I I even had jotted down all the things to create the program, but you know, I, I had things that I was doing after leaving there. You really inspired me to bring it, you know, cool. to cool. bring it cool. to launch it, you know, through your office. Really, no, I mean, that was an inspirational moment that I realized it's time, uh, and I, you know, so we've done it. I'm mean, since I left your office, I have worked. You know, I've flown to our corporate office in Pittsburgh multiple times. You know, we've been able to shoot stuff at NBC Studios, Fox Studios, and we've been just working tirelessly at it. So, yes, we, we've done it. And a, a lot of things have to line up to do this. That's why I really hadn't done it before. You talked about this, you know, particle that's this new binding agent that we haven't had. You know, otherwise it was too complicated with some right. of the other things that we had to do. It worked, Billy. Really. It got my life back. But now we were able to, you know, with this, to make things a more simple to bring and to put in every, I'll put it in quotes this time, every chiropractic office you know on the planet. That so it's, it. it's, it's a big time right now. And, right. and CalJam is literally going to be you know, a launching point for this. And you know, really doing that in honor of you. So that's really um, you know, how this came about. And, I, and I've kind of grouped you with, uh, I mean, Dane Wigington is one of my big heroes with the whole geoengineering uh, I don't know if you guys are on board with that yet, but uh, I know. Listen, it's- I, of course, I am. I my, my thing is, is I can't stop it. I'm focusing on right, right. But the, it's a reality that it's going on on a daily basis. I mean, we. I mean, it's just like the other day. We haven't had chemtrails in friggin' months because they don't spray in the summer because they want it to be baking hot here and they want to freaking fry this place. <laughs> but we were expecting to friggin' have rain. We had like an eighty percent chance of rain here, and then I knew, I knew in my head that they were gonna first thing in the morning. I see they'd be out here spraying here to prevent it from raining here. And I know people don't know they want to go down that rabbit hole. They don't want to go into. It. But let me talk to you a little bit on a, kind of a conspiracy angle. Do you think that there may be a global agenda to basically just mass? Uh, Toxification of people through everything that's going on, not only with geoengineering to the the food, the GMO food, to the fluoridation of the water, to all the drugs and vaccines and everything that's going on. Where do you kind of see where what's promoted a lot of this, or do you think it's just just a you know just a side effect of progress? You know, maybe this is where you and I have a little different opinion. Okay, good, and, and, and so, that's and, we're, and, we're, and I'm fine. Yeah, exactly, I'm fine. You know, I believe that most people believe in their agenda. I believe that Bill Gates really believes in his agenda. I do. I believe he believes strongly in it because of his own fear. When you hit that, you know, the level of wealth that he has, you fear things that, you know, the average person doesn't fear. And he really believes he's preventing, you know, catastrophic disease, which, you know, he would lose everything. And that's a big fear. You know, it's like, and I I really believe I've, I've met Monsanto people. You know, that just so believe in their mission. And these are the top people. There was the guy at the montage here in Park City. He was he's the CEO of Monsanto. And the bus driver said, man, he so believes that the GMO is the answer to world hunger and all this stuff. You know, I mean, people really believe. Now, am I saying that there's not other people who have other, you know, more suspicious, uh, you know, thoughts and agendas? <laughs> I would probably agree with you on that. No, but it, as a whole, I really believe that there's a lot. You know that most of the people really believe in their agenda. When you dig down into the vaccination, you know these doctors, you know these people, even at, it's, you know in the pharmaceuticals pushing it, they believe it. I think if they kept digging down and they got rid of their own dogma and their own mind, in they their would own ego. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think they would think, but I think they have to believe it, even to a certain point. Right. You go on. And be congruent, you know. But you know, Billy, I don't know. I don't know the answer, and, right. you know. But I know this: I know that we are under more neurotoxic, you know, assault than any time ever. And the answer is at the cell. You know, it really is. It's not the downstream stuff that everyone's preaching and teaching. 
You know, and I'm going to bring that message to Cal Jam, man. There is an answer, and it's real, and I got my life back by it. That's the only authority I can stand up to. Right. You know, it's like I have the ability and the mind to read the literature, you know, but I'm telling you, I got sick for a reason. It was to bring this message, no doubt about it. And maybe you got your brain toxic for a reason because you're going to help me bring the message. Yeah, and I will, dude. You know I will. Now, I, the first thing I want to say in wrapping this thing up, we could talk all freaking day, dude, but I want to go surfing, actually, and it's 11.03. Uh, but you've been really, 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 and this is one of the main reasons I, you know, picked you as a speaker, even before I really knew what you were about and how big you were and everything that you're doing is that you were totally supportive. You showed up to the gig because I get speakers that call me all the time. Oh, let me speak to Cal Jam and they haven't even friggin' been to the program. And I just want to send my love back to you for being supportive of what we're trying to accomplish, on, not only from a chiropractic standpoint, from a global state sustainability con. And again, I, I just Clayton is is a is a great advocate of what we're doing, and Warren and your whole crew is very very, and your wife too is very supportive of everything that you guys come to the parties. I mean, to me, it's like it's a family that comes together. <laughs> And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and, and just send you some love and, and gratitude. And, and that's one of the – not only your, what you're selling is great because it's, you're selling friggin' a, basically something every person on the planet needs and has to have. But also it's just the fact that you're a bro and your you're, you're wife's a sister and we get together and we're here for the common good of people. And we're helping and uplift chiropractors and give them you know alternatives to – improving the lives of people in their community so we can really create, you know, longevity in life yeah. for people. Listen, I, I appreciate you putting on. The first time I came into Cal Jam, I said, now, this is a movement that could change healthcare. This is a movement that definitely is going to change chiropractic. We're going to market it like crazy. Yeah, yeah and I, that's, that was my next question. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, because, I, you know, I believe, again, I believe every chiropractor needs to be a Cal Jam. I believe we need to unite you know, as an organization, you know, as uh, the, 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 I believe, the leader in healthcare, we hold the philosophy. I believe Cal Jam's the answer to that. I, I really do. I, I believe so strongly in it from the very first time that I came. And after that, we've supported it 100% because I see a movement that really has an opportunity to make a difference in our profession and on this planet. So really thank you for that. And that's why I'm behind it. Cool, cool. cool. And yes. I mean, what was the first time you came? Because I mean, I, I kind of like heard of you, Pampa Pampa, Pennsylvania, but I really never knew who you were, but you kept showing up, and I go, who is this Pampa dude, and then finally, you know, I met Clayton, and Clayton kind of told me what you guys were about, and that's how this whole thing came to fruition, because that dude's friggin' brilliant, too, you guys are both just like, you, Hank, and Clayton are like three of these guys that I, I wish I had that kind of like brain neurology going on, and I'm not saying I'm stupid, but it's just you guys are like friggin' off the chart IQ wise and I mean I like hanging around with people that are smarter than me because I mean I'll learn some stuff. This. You had called me four years ago because you watched some of my videos. I didn't think you remember this so I'm going to detox your brain. But you said hey man I, I really want you to speak and um, I wasn't able to do it that year. I, I had uh, a conflicting th something going on and you wanted me to come out through the process you know I mean come out for the first thing. Right, and right. Like, and like I said I, it, it didn't work out and then Right after that, because I was honored that you you know picked up the phone and called me, that was four years ago. I started going to the the Cal Jams, so I said, oh, you know, this guy picked up the phone and called me. I started coming, and from that moment on, you know, we have been a part of it. So uh, really appreciative of that, no doubt. I, I saw an alignment I, of minds. I saw an alignment of message. I saw what you were doing, and I was frankly, I was really impressed. All right, cool. And plus, it's fun. Listen, that's a key component. I know. E component. You got to have fun. And Billy D, Cal Jam better never take the Billy D out of Cal Jam. No, it won't. It won't. I mean, won't. you know, yeah, it, it, it's just it just it, is part of what it is. It's about like Not taking that little choke chain off. That you know, you should people know they should say stuff and do stuff, but they're all trying to. They want to be in the box and they want to be accepted and they want you know want to ruffle any feathers because they don't want anybody mad at them. The thing is, the reality is. If you continue down that road, you're not only going to be unsuccessful, but you're not going to be saving lives. You know, and it's just like we need to stand on the mountaintops and we need to shout and yell. And some people go, well, "I'm not a yeller." Well, okay, then whisper whatever you need to do. I'm a yeller. I'm one of those guys that tries to get people fired up for change because if we continue the direction we're going, 
We're, I mean, I mean, I don't want to be a pessimist because I'm a 100% optimist, but the direction this planet is going is these kids are going to be screwed. I mean, can you imagine what this place is going to be like in 10 years unless there's a shift in what's going on? Uh, man, I'm going to scream and shout the message of cellular healing and cellular detox, you know, and uh, you're going to hear it. Come to Cal Jam. Everybody needs this message and, and many other messages that uh, y'all are going to have there. So I'm excited, man. And you've got a pretty good following, too. That, I mean, you can promote to your base, right? Oh, we got it coming, baby. We're gonna I, bring I, I want to sell that place out because I, I can't even imagine the energy that will be in that room if that place is 100% packed, dude. Hey, we just uh, – letting my dog in. We just li- – uh, for my friend Brian Capra for Genesis, you know, we put out an email for him. And we got the number one response out of everybody that emailed for him. He says, Dan, your list is unbelievable. You know, because I, I do have a really great following who trusts me and, and, and love the message. But, yeah, we flooded his webinar. I mean, you can talk to Brian – Capper about that. He'll acknowledge what I'm saying. So, man, we're gonna bring it. We're gonna you bring can just the- flood California for us, and I'd be happy with that. Hey, man, let, let's let's bring do the it. rain too, baby. Listen, bring I, the- I have a really good SEO team. You know, Warren and these guys. You know, they you 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 got to be picking up the phone and calling Warren weekly, man. You get that guy and our team. We got we got a team of about you know eight people that drive SEO, man. You got to get that team behind you. And uh, you fire them up of you know getting this message out there. We got to get we got to fill. No, I don't. What's the goal? What's the goal? How oh, many people? I, we're going stadiums, dude. Come on, man. You know, the goal this year. That's the goal. Oh, this the goal's going to be twenty five hundred because that's max with the. Uh, oh, we can't go over that. Uh, but then we can do uh, virtual. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, listen. You know, I I, I think easily we can hit five thousand. Honestly. Oh, okay, uh, cool. You know, I mean, no doubt. I mean, I, I you know. 10,000, uh, you know, above. And, you know, hey, we may be able to get you two at that point. So uh, I'll leave that up to you, though. All okay. right, brother. I'm going surfing. Let me hear a little of the rock and roll. Can, you said you had a problem doing that before. It's like... You know, uh, yeah, hey. There Woo. we go. Maybe it's C5, baby. All right, I want yeah. to say how much I love and appreciate you and your beautiful wife. All right? Yeah. And I will talk to you on the flip side. You got it, man. And I can't wait to start you know, actually actually using this in my office to help with my peeps. I uh, can't wait. Big year, big year. Listen, we love you guys and we love what you're about. And yeah, it's launching on the West Coast. Billy D, man. You're be there or be square, baby. $7 can get you a romance novel, a number one combo at In-N-Out Burger, a 12-pack of granola bars, a cup of green juice, or one month of access to the Cal Jam Network. At CalJam, we take pride in the array of topics our speakers have covered over the past eight years. With the CalJam Network membership, most of our speakers' talks can be accessed. In our network, you can also find numerous seminars from the Dead Chiropractic Society's monthly meeting with over 100 chiropractors and some of the best speakers in the profession. The CalJam Network is your all-access pass to CalJam and DCS workshops, videos, and chiropractic content. From past CalJam speakers to recent DCS seminars, the network is a great resource for anybody passionate about chiropractic health or global sustainability. So don't miss out. We upload new and exciting content monthly, which can stream on any device, even your smartphone. Join the CalJam Network today for only seven bucks a month at calgam.org forward slash network. I love rock and roll! Not just one child. I said, you change it for the school. Not your emotion, their emotion. Well, because everybody has a self-healing mechanism. We know that. Your community is desperately waiting for you to show up. Wake up out of your apathetic slumber. Tell the people all about the principles of chiropractic because you are the vessel of the change. ability to move that keeps us alive. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on